my beloved brothers, my sisters, we are Muslim. A Muslim is a person who submits unto Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. A Muslim is a person, a Muslim is a person who does what Allah Almighty wants. And how do I know what Allah Almighty wants? He sent to us messengers from the very beginning to remind us to worship Him alone, which is the most important message. He sent messengers and from the very beginning, Adam alayhi salatu was salam, reminded his own children to worship Allah alone. Sheath alayhi salam, reminded his people, his children, his family to worship Allah alone. Nuh, Noah, may peace be upon him, reminded his people to turn back to Allah alone. And if we go further and further, we will find all the messengers of Allah with exactly the same message. That message was to worship Allah alone. Who is Allah? Allah is the worshipped one. He who made entire creation, that is Allah. He who made you and I, that is Allah. He whom I am going to return to after I die and you and entire creation when it comes to an end will be returning to none other than the one who made this creation in the first place, Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. So if you look at the message of all the messengers, it is identical when it comes to who you should worship. There was never a discrepancy, never a change. There was never any difference of opinion among the messengers, even though they came one after the other. They all called towards worshiping the maker alone. Whoever made you, you worship him alone. And who is he? He is the worshipped one, Allah, none other than Allah. He has names, he has qualities that are uniquely his. No one shares any of the qualities of Allah to the degree or the level of that which Allah holds. When you say this person is very forgiving, he is not on the level of Allah. Allah is Ghaffarun, Ghafurun, Rahimun, Wadudun, etc. These are the names of Allah. Allah is most forgiving. You and I, we might forgive small things, wait until something big happens, and then something bigger happens, and something even bigger happens. We have limits. Allah has no limits. Allah can do what He wants. He continues to do whatever He wishes, whatever He wants. Nothing happens on earth except by the will of Allah. He knows about it, He lets it be. It is Allah. He is in control. But it's all part of a test for all of us. Life is short. One day is good, one day is bad. One day is for you, one day is against you. My brothers, my sisters, believe in Allah. If you have a relation with Allah, the good day is Alhamdulillah. The bad day is also Alhamdulillah. There are five prayers a day. On a good day, it is five. On a bad day, it is still five. Subhanallah. In fact, when something bad happens, we get closer to Allah. Today, we are seated here. We thank Allah that Allah has given us a chance to sit in His beautiful house. This is the house of Allah. We are so many in number. Why are we here? Because there is an instruction of Allah. 